On this day, I visited one of the weirdest and most fascinating places in all of Arizona. And this time, it's not a hike or a national park, but it's still somewhat nature-related. The Biosphere 2 is a massive research facility in the middle of the desert that's designed to simulate many of Earth's different ecosystems. Anyone is allowed to come in for a self-guided tour to explore all the different biomes and learn more about the research going on. The campus is located in the heart of the Catalina Mountains near Oracle, Arizona, and it makes for such a beautiful setting. Off in the distance, I actually saw some wildfire smoke in the mountains. Anyways, let's just go over the story of what actually happened with the Biosphere 2 because there's actually an interesting history behind it. The facility was built in 1987, and it was essentially designed to be a second Earth. That's why it was called Biosphere 2, because the Earth itself is the original biosphere. The purpose was to test if humans could survive in a fully enclosed environment, so they did an experiment where they sent a group of eight scientists to live inside this Biosphere 2, and basically see how long they could survive. Right here is the farm area, where the people grew their own fruits and vegetables to eat. They also obviously had their own living quarters and other basic amenities, but other than that, it was completely sealed off from the rest of the world. Over time though, the ecosystem began to change in unexpected ways. For example, microbes in the soil caused oxygen levels to decrease to dangerous levels, and eventually there were also a lot of unwanted pests like ants and cockroaches. The people involved in this experiment also didn't really have the best time. There were sometimes even conflicts between crew members, and by the end of it all, they had lost a lot of weight and were pretty malnourished. I think the main takeaway from this experiment, at least how I see it, is that no matter how hard we try, we as humans can never truly replicate the Earth in all its complexity. We can only try our best to study and learn from the environment in which we live. And that's what researchers are using it for now, almost 40 years later from the original mission. It's no longer a living human experiment, but rather a research facility to study and better understand all the different kinds of environments on this planet, so that we can learn how to better protect it going forward. Anyways, for now I'm just gonna shut up for a bit and show you some of the really cool wetland and forest environments, along with the unique plants of those ecosystems. After walking through what was basically the jungle, I finally reached the ocean. It's a giant 850 square foot pool with an actual coral reef inside of it. Surrounding this ocean is obviously beautiful views of the mountains outside and some other cool flowers and plants nearby. The last stop at the biosphere is the rainforest, complete with a nice little waterfall. Overall, the biosphere too is just so cool because one second you're literally in the rainforest, and the next second you're out in the desert with views of the mountains.
This plant right here that sort of looks like an agave is called a desert spoon. And over here is a Joshua tree. Anyways, that's about it for the actual biosphere tour. Right here I'm walking through the campus where conferences are held from time to time. But I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you're new to the channel, I try to go on these little trips all the time and love to share them on here. So if you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment and I'll probably respond. If you'd like to support the work I do for this channel and my main channel, then feel free to join me over on Patreon. Thank you to everyone who already does. And stay tuned for my next few videos, which are about my Utah trip.